They saw but Thomas can't get to the ball first, but gets their second. There is Tyrese Dolan inside now again. Travis, and then it's pinged over to the left-hand side by Morton. It's a good ball from him. Ben Brayton Diaz, first touch for the Chile International, taking on Darnell Furlong inside. Pickering gives it back to Brayton Diaz inside the penalty area, tries to bundle his way through, oh, and that's a great save from Josh Griffiths in the opening three minutes here at the Hawthorns, forced into early action. The debutant. But he palms a stinging drive away from the Chile forward there, Ben Brett and Diaz. It's straight down his throat, Jess, but he's still got to deal with it. It comes at him so quick. To be fair, it's a good save for the box, because that's where they're going to score goals. Swift corner towards oh! that near post. Header at the near post as well is nodded towards goal and away by the goalkeeper, Ainsley Pears. It was Furlong who came to meet it. And what a big save that is Any from the Blackburn standing goalkeeper. Either side of him is a goal. It's straight down his throat. He throws his hands up to it. It's a great reaction save, to be honest. The last time they were beaten here by any Rovers team was a 3-1 defeat in the December oh, 2010. Good. Albion have come away with the ball. It's oh, no the way. Edge of the six-yard box and an acrobatic volley over the top of the bar by John Swift. Well, Thomas Asante did brilliantly to keep the ball alive. I don't think anybody expected him to there. He goes under his armpit. Watch, it just dips under and acrobatically keeps it in him once. You, you expect Swift to contact, get good contact on it, and he doesn't disappoint. It's an excellent effort. John Swift unable to keep his effort down. It goes over the top of the bar. Come as a substitute. Yeah. yeah, he's a real big impact player. He's been lively tonight. He's poked the ball through the legs of Travis there. Now Townsend, 30 yards away from goal, up to the edge of the box now, rolls it to the left. John Swift, he's got one to beat. Onto his right foot, Swift delivers in towards Thomas Asante. It's hit Jed Wallace, comes back to Thomas Asante, trying to turn, pulls it back. Malumbi gets a strike away! Oh, it's off the oh. post and cleared oh. by the skipper, Lewis Travis. That's the closest the Baggies have come to scoring tonight. And Jason Malumbi rattles the woodwork from well, the edge of the penalty area. We just spoke about Santi. He does ever so well. The ball comes inside. It ricochets about a little bit again. It comes out to Malumbi and he strikes him with his left foot like an arrow. And the keeper stood. He's, he's, he's beat him all hands down. Big kick forward. And a one, though, by Yukuzlu. Now Thomas Asante. Jed Wallace into a channel. It's a good run. That from... Uh, John Swift. Swift has done well. He's on the right-hand side. Plays it back infield to Darnell Farlong. Oh, edge of the decent. box. Square ball. Malumbi pokes it through. Tries to play 1-2 with Thomas Asante. Malumbi just couldn't keep his feet. Albion have won it back, though. Yukuzlu. Blackburn couldn't clear. Here's Furlong to the back post. Yukuzlu tries to oh, win it. Headed away. Yes! <laughs> Jason Malumbi! And it's Jason Malumbi. Who storms off to celebrate in front of the Bromley Road end. It was scrappy, it wasn't pretty, it certainly wasn't handsome, but it could be a huge goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's Jason Malumbi on target. Oh, oh, what a goal this is. What a great ball back in. It bounces around. It was, it was going to be a goal like that. It's scrappy. And Malumbi died, puts his head in on it. I mean, the referee does us a favour here. He could have stopped the game for a free kick. It goes wide, I think it's Furlong. It is Furlong, it's a delightful ball in. Really good ball in. It's a great save for the keeper, and Malumbi just follows it up. It's the simplest goal we'll get. Swift into midfield, oh. Malumbi, it's a loose ball, and Furlong can't win the ball off Brent, Brayton Diaz. Here come Blackburn, Brayton Diaz, edge of the box. Travis goes onto his right foot, he's brought yeah. down on the edge of the D. And it's a free kick to Blackburn. You'd imagine that their top scorer, Ben Brayton and Diaz, would pull rank here. Yeah, 100% he is. There's the whistle. Hedges leaves it. Brayton Diaz hits yeah. it, and it's straight through into the back of the net. And the man who's gone 13 games without a goal has surely just fired in a massive one for Blackburn Rovers.